What's going on guys? Just wanted to do a quick video on a Momo steering wheel. This is a suede edition deep dish. A lot of people consider this a drift style wheel. Um, this is pretty much everything that comes in the box. But I just, I'm gonna do a comparison video pretty soon. I just wanted to do a single video on what I think is amazing about the Momo compared to one of the rep wheels or one of the least, less expensive wheels. One of the first things that, that you guys will notice if you buy a Momo, if you buy like a nice Sparkle, is the material. The material on here is, is a lot different than let's say, I don't want to give out any rep brands, but I don't want to shame them because everyone's doing their thing. But when you get like a lesser color wheel and you just feel the material, the suede, first of all, on this wheel is superb. This is just really, really soft. And if you could feel it, you just know like, wow, like this is, it's a big difference. Cause I mean, if you're paying $250 for a wheel, you expect it to be $250. Um, it's a lot lighter than most wheels too, than most rep wheels. A lot of rep wheels are made out of like a solid piece of metal and you, they just feel heavy. So will they bend? Probably not, but it's also not going to be lighter on the, on the turns or just feel, feeling overall. If like you take your wheel off and like to carry it, you are going to have that extra weight but you are gonna pay $150 less for, for a rep wheel than for this wheel. Um, all Momos come with a nice little badge right there. Momo Italy, this is a great wheel. I, I love these in Sparkle, these are probably my favorite wheels. This, this style in particular, this is a 350 millimeter wheel. Um, nice painted logo right here. You have your nice stri uh, stripe at the top. Six bolt, like most generic. Um, I shouldn't say generic, but like most steering wheel setups, um, it comes with your button. You get your nice little Momo button here with the connections for your your horn, your actual horn connector, your little plate, and you get some some bolts for bolting your 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 wheel to your hub or to your quick release, whatever it is that you have. You also get some instructions, lets you know to disconnect your battery, not to blow your so you don't blow your airbag or anything like that. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, you don't necessarily need to use a higher quality hub like a momo or sparkle hub you can use anything like an nrg it'll it'll bolt right up i have an nrg here if this were for that car i could just put the car in there hub it up and you have your six bolt here so all six bolts will generally bolt up most quick releases too um then you get your box your box is really simple this is a not a some, some boxes you can see through them they have like a clear and you can see the style of the wheel this is just a regular old box um you can keep this for sentimental value or if you just want to have it around this is this is again 350 millimeter deep dish 240 dollar wheel you can probably get it a little cheaper online but i really i'm gonna do a more in-depth review before but this is just kind of like an unboxing overview kind of first impressions out the box it's just a beautiful wheel it's really soft and it's it's really light and it's really high quality we might do an install video later on just to kind of guide you guys through it but yeah that's pretty much it if there's any parts you guys want to be reviewed in particular we might do some of those just on the quality aspects the unboxing aspect of it and then later on we might do some installs in car and see how how maybe driving performance is different uh on this wheel versus a, a lower end wheel which in reality i think it has more to do with the comfort and feeling of the of the car less to do with how how this is actually going to turn well i might be surprised there might be a big difference but from what i think right now i think it's going to be more with the quality and the feeling of the materials that it's actually made of than really if it's going to make me turn faster or if it's going to be more comfortable but i i i might not know uh it, the, the way the way it's weighted could have a lot to do with it too a solid piece of metal might weight it different when i when i turn the wheel or to initiate or anything like that so yeah that's pretty much it guys you guys have a good one